boy Black Ass. It's your boy Conversion. And we the woke boys. So what the fuck is up? What up, y'all? This Tim Book. We out here coming out of North Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? Shout outs to the woke boys. This interview is about to go down. What's happening? Hit me with the cues, my G. All right, so just give us your name, what you do, and how long you been doing it for. All right, they call me De Martinez, David, in Spanish, you know. Um, I work with high-end celebrities and trap artists from Atlanta. Um, what am I doing here again? All right, so just tell us your name, what you do, and how long you been doing it for. Uh, thanks, boy. Make music. Uh, produce. So where did the names Black Ass and Conversion come from? You go first. <laughs> See, growing up, is it because you're dark? That's exactly why. I was the darkest nigga growing up. And you know, as a kid, it kind of hurt my feelings though, but as I got older, I was like, fuck it, I'm dark. I'm yeah. black ass. I'm black as fuck. And so fuck it, me, nigga. All right, all right, check it. So my name, well, honestly, nobody fucked with me when I was a kid. So I got to convert them. So that's what's up. So how'd you meet the woke boys? The woke boys, oh, let me tell you about them. All right, so I was out there, you know, beach house and fucking these bitches and shit. And then my boy hit my line like, yo, there's these new cats coming up out the AV. I said, what's the AV? They said, that's like the antelope place. I was like, what's that mean? He said, the valley. I was like, that's gangster. That's gangster. So we're going to link up with them or what? We're going to hit the collaboration. We, we, we plan on hitting that collaboration. You know what I'm saying? So how did you get in contact with the woke boys? All right, so one day I was looking through my emails. And I see this email from the Woke Boys, I guess. And at first I was kind of sketched out about him, but then my assistant told me, you know, check him out, give him a chance. And then later on I found out, worst decision ever. They email me. I don't know where they email me from, to be honest with you. Uh, from the email, I mean, it was, it was cool. It was alright. I like the names, you know what I mean? <laughs> I like the names Black Ass. Uh, um, oh, what's the other guy saying? Conversion. Yeah, conversion. Yeah, 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 I like the names. I like the names. Yeah, they told me to meet them at the library. I mean, <laughs> library, you know what I'm saying? They said they had to use the, the computer. Why? What happened? Well, first off, they already sketched out with the down payment. I was like, man, all right, whatever. I gave him a couple months to pay it, so I was like, okay, give me the rest later. And you know what they do? They pay me with some fucking Air Forces and some, like, chump change. I was like, what the fuck? They're like, they told me to take it to the pawn shop and get see what I could get. I was like, you know what? Fuck these dudes. So I ran into David yesterday, and um, I want to just kind of elaborate on that situation. Yeah, all right, see, um, we hit him up for a show, you feel me? And we, he was talking about, like, the payment. Hold up, hold up. First, first, let me get this out the way. Mm. This nigga not really doing big work out here. So, honestly, this nigga was asking a lot out the jump. To be like, honest. To be honest, this nigga's not really on our level. So, to be asking us for ridiculous-ass payments was really an insult to our artistry. Continue. So the nigga asked to be paid, right? And we're like, we ain't got the money for that. So as a collateral, we get this nigga some shoes. Shoes, bro. Like Air Force Ones. Come on, G. Janowski's. Everybody Fresh Janowski's. Nike, bro. So you guys told him to pawn shoes. Yeah. That was his payment. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Don't you like Nikes? Don't you like money? So why did you guys email him? Why didn't you guys, like, call him or something? Excuse me? Like, why, like, like, why, why didn't you guys, like, call him or text him, you know, with a phone or something? Man, what the fuck? That's not your goddamn business, nigga! 
You better ask another question. The fuck they gotta do with this? Why'd you email him? Oh, wait up, but, but first, I got one thing to say to David. If you watching this shit, dog, you need to learn how to work with professionals, dog. Niggas got demands. You need to meet those demands, bro. He right. I need my caramel macchiato every day on set. He do. All right? I'm telling you, like, that guy... Conver co collision? Collision? Conversion. Conversion? Conversion. 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 That guy... That guy wanted everything perfect, man. He's, this guy's a perfectionist. That guy was... I was like, man, come on, bro. What the fuck? I can't work like this, you know? You're demanding way too many things for the amount of money you're paying me. And that guy, Blackface or Blackass, what's, what's his name? Blackface? Blackass? Blackass. 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 What kind of name is that? What the fuck? Who's gonna take him seriously? Like, seriously, come on now. That guy was just something else, man. That dude would just... Tell me, man. He should just cut off his hair or something, man. Homie walks in with a motherfucking duck tie. Duck tie, bro. <laughs> a duck tie. Duck tie. Right. You want this? Oh, yeah. So I was conversion. That's crazy. I keep forgetting his name. Thank you. Um, <coughs> homie walks in and, you know, they come in. First thing he says right off the bat. I need boneless. Lemon pepper wings. Before anything. No introduction. No hello. No handshake. I ain't never met him. You know what I'm saying? So, like, yeah, yeah. So I look at my man, I look at black ass like, like, you know, I give him that look like, I mean, like, what's, you know what I mean? Like, what's good with your boy? And that silence that I'm giving you, that, that's the silence I got. So what type of music are you into and how long have you been doing it? Well, I like to say my genre, bro, it's like a mixture of like, it's like, it's like God, but then it's like, you know, it's like bitches, bro. It's it's math, bro. It's an equation, you know. All right, so really quick, let me just get a let get a hot sixteen. I need a hot sixteen, huh? Look, uh, my man asked me for the hot sixteen. That's a little bitch with a bad body. Pay attention. No money, so no boo got e. But the boo knew that she had to got me to brought me to this new spot. We chilling in bad bitch with two hot cheeks. That's a hot 16. Sup? So do you plan on ever working with them again? Two words. Fuck that. Are we done with this? Are we done with this now? Come on now. Sarah, get out of here. Sarah, where's my coffee? So it sounds like your experience wasn't the best. Did you ever consider working with them again? Hey, can I get some of that? Oh, yeah. No, oh, thank you, man. Yeah, there you um, go. Yeah, it's hard for me. Uh, my phone. So, uh, all right. Just the worst span of time as a human being, right? You know, with everything going on, like, people are, like, not proud to be a lot of things. Like, I was not proud to be a human being. So about this Woke Boy collaboration, let's talk release dates. Release dates, huh? All right. Um, let me tell you a little something about release dates. You see, when the time comes, the time comes. You know what I'm saying? That's just like, that's how that shit go. Mama always said. Now, this shit coming, bro. Y'all gotta be ready. We ain't collabing with that nigga. Weak as, that nigga weak, first off. What's that nigga's name, what? T Tim Book? I don't know. We're not collabing with him. We don't even do collaborations, to we be honest. We don't. To be honest. Nobody out here is on our rap level. They really are. And we ain't even... Rappers, that's the thing. We not rappers, we artists. Niggas don't understand that about us. They sleeping. They really are. Niggas that's is why not woke. we the woke boys. God damn. We gotta wake them up. 
closed. Not that hard of a concept to grasp. Got a third eye open. Niggas got that shit closed. <sighs> I guess we're going to the next question. Any upcoming projects? Yeah, boo. Check your tone, too. The professionals. Yeah, we got this new track coming out called GMO, you feel me? Hey. You feel me? The GMOs. If you woke, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. But when the track comes out, you soon will know. Soon will know. And it'll open your fucking third eye, nigga. You need to really be woke. The car just passed by. You need to know what's in your food. You really do. Shit could kill you, son. So who started the Woke Boys, and which one do you feel is more woke than the other? Oh, that was me, obviously. Alright, check it. So my name is Conversion for a reason, right? Alright, I was always the smartest one. I was always the most woke in the class, in school, everywhere. You already know. So I'm here, out here converting people. I'm trying to make them woke. You know, I'm trying to wake them up, trying to open up these third eyes. So obviously, I reached out to the homie and was like, yo, I'm trying to start this thing. I feel like you one of the most woke niggas obviously not woke, more woke than me but i mean obviously more woke than everyone else and we putting out these fire ass bars spinning ciphers and shit and i'm like yo bro hey we should we should link up we should make a team out of this you know what i mean tell him i mean in reality i told this nigga everything he didn't knew shit before he met me lying ass nigga i'm the wokest nigga the fuck Nah, don't, nah, fuck this, nah. The fuck? Hey, are you, are you good, man? Yeah, nigga, I'm good, shit, let's wrap this shit up, man, fuck. Alright, alright, alright. So, uh, when is this song coming out? Next year, nigga. It's actually coming out on the 15th. I think it should come out next year. It's already done, nigga. Fuck, you putting that shit on the 15th, all right? Damn. So, uh, just to be clear, you guys are not collabing with Tim Book. No, we ain't working with that nigga! Fuck! Man, fuck this, I'm out! Shit! Come back and give a fuck you up!